Kal Halalium, La Yahweh Bahasham, Shal Yahweh Shay, Bahasham Rakak Dash, which is ancient Paleo Hebrew for all praises to Yahweh in the name of Yahweh Shay, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Right? Yahweh is the Heavenly Father's only name, and Yahweh Shay is the Son's only name, which Royal Ignorance calls Jah, Jehovah, Jesus, Yeshua, etc. Um, <clears throat> Double honors the apostles and elders of great men stone and salutation to the sincere alchemists pushing the truth of the Holy Bible in fear and sincerely and truth. Right? And um, salutations, peace and blessings to the elect of Israel, which are the so called Negroes, Latinos, Hispanics, and confusion faces scattered throughout the four corners of the world. All right. The mark of the beast. Big topic, beautiful topic, always. Be looking forward for that day, all of temptation, you know. And um, spirit led me to this video. It's released a while, a couple of days ago, and you know it's circulating around, around the uh, <clears throat> camp of GMS. And you know, and we getting on, we getting on those naysayers, you know. I'm gonna play this clip from RT. This is new view Hughes or some RT stuff. And then we're, then we're going to go into the script, right? So many economists believe the future will be cash free. You're already seeing it from everywhere you go, whether it's your baseball game or to your local deli. Now, Sweden is getting there even faster than anyone else. According to a New York Times report, a fifth of the country, a fifth, doesn't even use ATMs anymore. And 4,000 Swedes, now get this, have microchips implanted in their hands so they can pay for products with just a wave of their hand. Ah, makes the Apple Watch kind of look obsolete. So on top of that, many Swedish companies are asking their employees to get implants to pass through access points and to pay for conveniences. Now the red flags start going up. So for our red flags, we have to turn to legal media analyst Lionel. Lionel, thanks for joining us on this. I know you've got some red flags, and I feel like I'm reading out of the book of Revelation, possibly. So what concern... You see? And that's the thing with women and, and these people in the media, they... they they speak your words are smooth as butter as the scripture said All right she said i feel like you're reading out to the book of revelation possibly she want to be quoted on that so she said possibly like how you know brothers will say that well I'll do this lord willing well they they say these things so that they they you know they don't want to cause fear and all of this but she knows she knows, and this guy's gonna tell. He's about to say. Absolutely, come he to said, you. Absolutely. Arise from human conveniences. Now the red flags start going up. So for our, listen to what he said last. Our red flags. We have to turn to legal media analyst Lionel. Lionel, thanks for joining us on this. I know you've got some red flags, and I feel like I'm reading out of the Book of Revelation, possibly. So what concerns? Absolutely. Come to you. Arise from humans microchipping themselves. This is the mark of the beast. He didn't hesitate. He didn't hesitate. He knew. He knows what it is. He waited for that moment, and the Spirit of the Lord made him say that. All right, because the Scripture says this. Let's see. Uh, Psalms six to four. Verse 8. And he says, and he calls it Slakia. He says, So they so so they make their own tongue to fall upon themselves, all that see them shall flee away. Most I will make a man own words condemn you. Alright? So this Edomite you know, might be a Jake, I don't know. But looks like an Edomite. I don't know, I don't know his background or spirit, but on face value looks like an Edomite <clears throat> and Mosai caused him to to confess that this is the mark of the beast All right he goes into it let's see here let's lock here just click back here this is listen no no let me let me tell you something I mean I'm I, I'm no biblical idiot and this man this man get riled up Lionel thanks for joining us on this I know you've got some red flags and I feel like I'm reading out of the book of Revelation possibly so what concerns Absolutely. come to you arise from humans microchipping themselves this is the mark of the beast <laughs> 
This is, listen, no, no, let me, let me tell you something. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm no biblical scholar here, but it's amazing the parallels made. Now look. The parallels make. It's amazing how the parallels made. And we're going to show it to you scripture. Sorry. Let's get down to brass tacks. Would you, st not you. I wish they'd stop with this. They go, we're going cashless. We've been cashless. Where's this cash? Ever buy a house with cash or a car? We've got this. I, I don't even have, I got a couple of bucks. We've been cashless. But that's not the issue. One of these days, these kids, these, I think you call them millennials or something, they're going to take these little tiny RFID, radio frequency identification chips, about the size of a grain of rice. And they're going to be cool, Scotty. Oh, they're going to be waiting in line overnight to get implanted. And they're going to say, look at this. I can go to the drugstore. I can go to a cab. Isn't this great? How cool am I? Look, I've got this little embedded chip. And they'll say, they have medical records. And you're going to do that to grandma and grandpa in case, God forbid, they have some kind of dementia they're walking off. I mean, after all, we have it in our dogs, right? It's like OnStar for human beings. But here's the catch. One of these days, God forbid, Scotty, you defy, they, they, they find you guilty of something. And you go before a court and they say, we're going to sentence you to prison. No, we're going to turn your chip off. Yep. And one of the Rockefellers he said that, that they want to, um, in one of those, um, I guess you can say conspiracy videos, one of the Rockefellers was confessing to someone, someone saying that we want to microchip everybody and control the world. And if they don't comply, they will turn the chip off. And here again, in, in, 21st century because it was a video I believe in the 90s and probably possibly 80s not sure if it's just pretty how about you know shay find, find that video again and you know put it together with this and you don't exist everything in fact people are going to notice that when you walk up you guilty of something and you go before a court and they say we're going to sentence you to prison no we're going to turn your chip off and you don't exist. Everything. In fact, people are going to notice that when you walk up, they're going to say, who is this? You're not registered. You say, it's me. What do you mean? Who is this? No, you're not showing up on this. You don't exist. If you think I'm kidding, this is Elba. This is, this is like some type of a prison and people are going to be one of these days enslaved by this chip that will not will it will replace okay. you now wait a minute first of all no chip can replace you let me just point out no chip can replace me but i You're you know telling we can... you see this man this man straight up you know and she's foolish she don't understand the depths of what's going on right well, we can talk about the sci-fi sense, but I also want to talk about the responsibility aspect of it. My mother used to say, if you can't hold on to a $20 bill, then you don't even need to be able to spend it. You're not responsible enough to spend it. I'm worried, is they, are they going to sell this basis on the fact that, hey, guess kids lose their money all the time. You won't ever have to be responsible again for yourself. You know, we, it automatically comes to you. Is that how they're going to try to scale this? What? Scotty, what's that thing you have on your wrist? Oh, I, I said I've got the my thing that looks watch. like a watch? Mm -hmm. Oh, it tracks me. You know what that is? That's a surveillance unit. That's a surveillance unit. This is transhumanism. The RFID chip one day, and how many times have you used that? Have you used the iPhone wallet? Hey, I got this. Isn't this great? It's convenient, and you're though. you're responsible. Yeah, convenience you is po That's a positive, though. We can't always say all technology positive. is a negative. Positive? It's positive. You know, Let me tell you something. When something is free, you're the product. See that? You're buying and selling, buying and selling slaves. That's what ID, ID, identification for tin numbers and stuff like that is all for. All right, they, they make big deals about human traffic, but what do you think a passport is about? All right. This is what happens. You see, we're going around and we're. I mean, I, I, I don't want to uh, scare you, but we've lost all sense of freedom. 
we're, we're, we're walking around here enslaved in this 24-7 worldview panopticon. You are walking around with a surveillance device uh, on your wrist. Well, you know and what? We, and I've got this stupid thing, too. I'm walking around with well, it. Well, you know what? I, will, I, mean, I don't know if I'd want to be surveilled your life 24-7. Mine's not exciting. But you know what? I know that we will have you back on to continue this conversation. Thanks for joining us. See? Please. Please. He, and he's out of months about it. You know, he, he want to get it out. He want to let people know, but... Let's go into scripture. This is Revelation chapter 13, verse 16, and it says, And he calls it all, all, both small and great, young and old, and right, rich and poor, bums, people in the street, whoever, and rich and poor, free and bond, men in jail, men out of jail, women in jail, women out of jail, so forth, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads now we're going to go into that word mark the strongs and that's 5480 g 5480 slakia it says haragma right haragma slakia a stamp an imprinted mark of the stamp of the forehead or the right hand as a batch of followers of the antichrist yeah yeah the mark branded upon horses, thing carved, sculptured, graven work of idolatrous images. All right, so you're going to worship the system, the ideals. All right, of 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 Esau's um, Esau's kingdom, so to speak. All right, he's branding you in ownership. That's why he says the mark, the branded mark upon a horse. That's why we we'll have all your medical stuff. All right. And in the forehead, they're going to put it above your eyebrow, right? And that's the best place because um, um, between the, the same wrist or where the finger uh, between the index finger and the thumb, so like if somebody doesn't have hands, put the, the, the heat within the lithium battery of this device um, regulates, um, you know, okay there for it to work as best as it can, right? Um, this is strong definition from the same as 5482 a scratch etching that is stamped as a badge of servitude sculpted figure graven mark so it's a scratch All right let me just check this true spirit ha when you go into um go into the word harax or sorry carax a pale or a steak and it smells a red right skin so it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a small steak and that's what they're doing they're, they're gonna pierce a syringe loaded with the um, with the device the RFID chip from it's a strong definition from it says um, from carasso to sharpen to a point akin to the idea of scratching a stake that is a, a pale seed or a rampart military mound for circulate sir, for circumvallation in a siege all right all right so let's see not done yet let's read down a bit more and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name all right no man can buy or sell and that's exactly what it's being used for they talk about money all the time it's all about money because they, they know they and her watch is a precursor precursor meaning something to desensitize you to you know, make you feel more comfortable in accepting something like this but even though this man will be belting out and shouting the people are still going to take it a lot of people is going to take it right here is the wisdom verse 18 here is the wisdom let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast all right for it is the number of a man and his number is 603 scores and six now this is what we're going to go into right there's a a strongs for that and it's g5516 all right and it's the greek characters it says phonetic key sheen stigma, but it's actually high size stigma. 
right? As memory serves me from um, the Bruletto audio recording. It says 660, the mean of which is the basis of the mean spec speculate of a vein speculation. It's locked here. Origin G22, 14 of sleep letter. Uh, it says, uh, Alright, so we're gonna go into this strong this as a cross 22nd and 14 of the letter as a cross. We're going to that, and it gives you stigma. Alright, you see stigma, right? Right, I'm gonna be stigmata. It says a mark pricked or in branded upon the body. To ancient oriental usage, slaves and soldiers bore the name or the stamp of their master or commander branded or pricked, cut into their bodies to indicate what master or general they belonged to. And there were there were there even some devotees who stamped themselves in this way with the token of their gods. So by so by taking this mark, this RFID chip, radio, free, radio ident identification frequency, you you call you're saying that Esau is your god. The system is the beast. All right. I'm sorry, it's lucky. But the system is the image of the beast. The the ideas, reputation, the reputation, the philosophies. From a primary word stizo to stick that is prick a mark in size or punch. A recognition of ownership that is figurative, figuratively scar of service mark All right and, and that's basically it that's basically it i want to give all praise to you how about you know shite put me spirit on me to do another lesson lord will you know i endure to the end it's like my brothers and i endure to the end continue pushing